Good morning, everybody. It's Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Thursday, August the 9th, 2018. And what you're looking at is my uh, Wagner number six, uh, one of the first skillets that I ever restored last year, last July. And um, I used this skillet <clears throat> explaining to you what happened uh, while the skillet heats up because we're going to do a, an omelet breakfast sandwich today. Um, but I made this a couple of days ago, and we had a contractor at the house uh, to work on something. And after I had I'd eaten before he got here, and then after he was busy working away, I went ahead to clean the skillet and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I will link that video so you can see how I clean and maintain these. But I left it on the stovetop like this. It's at medium heat. Left it on the stovetop to heat up sufficiently before you add a little bit more seasoning to it. I just kind of use a um, old rag that already has oil on it. I sometimes add a little Crisco on it, and then it will carbonize on here. I forgot to do that, guys. I actually forgot to do to do that because I forgot the pan was on the burner, and it must have been an hour or more. Uh, that the pan was on the burner, but surprisingly there was no damage. So when I discovered it, I went ahead and quickly add the seasoning. It was uh, it was really hot, so it smoked. It was at the smoke point right away, and then I wiped it back off again. And now this pan is good to go and no damage whatsoever. This thing is solid. I wouldn't try that though. It was just whoa. I mean, you 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 think you could cause some damage and. These things are pretty tough. I mean, unless they get up in temperatures of 900 degrees, 1,000 degrees, and you leave them in a fire that long on the stovetop, it just proves that they're not going to be damaged. Um, but anyway, I, that's why I put that in the title. Don't try this at home. But we're going to do a... Uh, I'm going to try to adjust the tripod here on the camera. There we go. So you can see what I'm doing. I've been letting this heat up. Again, this is not quite, I can still lift it up, but you can see there's absolutely no damage to this skillet. I'm going to let it heat up. But what I'm going to do here is I have a slice, low-fat American cheese, one beaten egg, and Hillshire Farms breakfast, or ham. And I like the Hillshire Farm ham because it has no nitrites added. A lot of the processed meats do, and that's what causes cancer, so I really want to drive this point home. There's nothing wrong with a little meat now and then if you buy the kind without the additional processing, without the nitrites, and then, you know, with, um, you know, ground meats and things like that. You just want to try to get it where it's hormone and growth-free, antibiotic-free, and that kind of thing. So, anyway... We want to make sure this is adequately warm. I have my bread all ready to go here. It's going to be an omelet sandwich. And I really like that. And this skillet is perfect to do that in. And I'm going to grab a spatula and show you. Just uh, rinse it off here. And it's my favorite one. Uh, it's a silicone spatula. It's my favorite one for working with cast iron. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead. It's sufficiently uh, warmed up now. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the egg. You can hear it. Sizzle, because it's nice and hot. You have to have heat and fat to make cast iron work the best and that brings out its nonstick properties and it's uh, only on medium heat so you can it's only one egg here you can see how nonstick that is okay so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put on the cheese it really cooks really fast and it'll start to melt and I'm just going to fold up the edges, kind of like you would uh, an omelet, but I do it on all four corners. And this one cooked really fast because the pan was heating up as I was talking to you guys. I try to let these things heat up for about three to four minutes. Now, the larger the skillet, I think the more time you're going to need it to heat up. 
Okay, you can see that. So I have my, my uh, bread all prepared. And it's just nice and fluffy. You can see it. Uh, here, I'll bring the camera around so you can see it. There it is. Okay. All right. And I'm going to bring it over to my... Just slide it right out. There it is. Beautiful. And we're going to just go ahead and fry up a couple pieces of this ham. And just to make a little breakfast sandwich. There. And I get this for a real good price at Costco. I don't know if you guys have Costco where you are. But I get three little mini packages and a big package of this ham. It's cheaper than any grocery store. So, uh, I should have joined them years ago, years ago, but we just never realized all the goodies that they have. And here it is. We're just going to cook it up real fast. And um, anyway, I'm thinking about making meatloaf in cast iron. I may be doing that later today, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I have a favorite meatloaf recipe that I like to use. Still totally nonstick. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? couple little pieces of ham to go on my sandwich. Very simple breakfast. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to do my old recipe, but I think in cast iron it's probably going to take, probably, you know, if I use a big enough skillet, it's going to take less time, maybe an hour in the oven, versus in a traditional loaf pan that's smaller, it's going to take, um, it takes like an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes. So anyway, we're all done. We're going to go ahead. That just slides right off of there. And I'm going to take the pan off the burner and let it cool down a little bit. I'll go ahead and clean it a little bit later. You can actually, you can actually soak them and then clean them. And they're perfectly maintained. So anyway, this is our breakfast sandwich. We're going to go ahead and cut it, and uh, here we are, bon appetit. There it is. I'm going to have some orange juice with it, and we'll go from there. Guys, make it a great day, and I'll be back later.